everyone, it's Di here from Dyer's Den and this week I'd like to show you how I made this card. I call this card Stamped Around a Circle because that's exactly what I've done, Stamped Around a Circle. I did this card for my colour creation blog and this is Sahara Sand and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so elegant that I decided that I would do it, show you how I did it, this card. So, the inside looks very plain so you can write whatever and the words I put on here is you can do this so if someone was you know convalescing or going for a, a test or whatever this is just an inspirational card and I thought it was just gorgeous and I'm going to show you how to make it but we're going to do it in Highland Heather and because these are two colors this was Sahara Sand and uh so sa not so saffron um soft suede so and we've got a few pieces of, of here so i'm going to do this in highland heather here and my stamping will be in highland heather and gorgeous grape so i will show you what we need to make this card let's pop that one out of the way for a moment okay so we're going to use the forever fern um stamp set which is carrying over into the next catalogue which is fantastic i absolutely think that's absolutely just the best so we're going to be using that and we're going to be using the subtles folder uh, embossing folder unfortunately this is actually retiring on the, the 3rd of may but there's a similar one coming out but it's a bit coarser so I'm sure it will be just as, as popular as this one here. So, and then we're going to be using the layering circles, which is our staying, thank goodness. And we're going to be using not the largest one, but the next one down. So we're using this size here, which is about, I think I'm, I wrote it down, about a two and a half inch circle. Now, if you don't have layering circles and you have a, a circle punch, a, of that size two and a half inches you can use that instead so let's pop them out of the way and I'm oh I didn't tell you we're going to be using um, this and this one for the front along with you can do this and this one here and this one in the inside so let me tell you all the bits we need and there's not even a real lot of pieces here so we're going to need a card blank and I'm doing mine in white to contrast really well and this measures 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 for the front you're going to need a layer that measures 5 and 5 8 with by 3 and 7 8 and that you can't actually see that very well but i has, have actually already popped that through the embossing folder i don't know if you can see oh yeah there you go you can see it better there okay so we've done that and then our other layer for the front is another white piece that measures five and three eighths by three and five eighths and i've already cut out my semi-circle so it's about two thirds of the two three quarters of the circle that you're cutting out you because you want a nice edge on that edge there so that's that piece for the insert you're going to need another piece of highland heather that or or whatever color you're doing yours in um, that measures five and five eighths by five, seven, three and seven eighths, and a white layer to put on the top of that. That measures five and three eighths by three and five eighths. Let's pop those on one side, and then you're going to need three strips: one in white, and I've got one in gorgeous grape and one in Highland Heather here, and these all measure three quarters of an inch by three and a half inch. So we will cut them down as we go. So let's pop those on one side. Let's bring in our scoreboard and we will score our main card to start off with. So we're going to score our main card at the 5 and 7 eighths mark, as always, with the European Australian sizing. This card can be made using the American sizes. All you do is just change the size of your layers and your card base. We're going to fold that in half. We're not going to fold that in half. It's not going to go. And we're going to burnish, fold and burnish that in half. So there we go. So that's the front of our card. We might as well put our um, Highland Heather 
layer on here that has been oh look you can see it much better now that has been um, embossed so that that's done out of the way so let's see we'll pop that on there this is actually a very quick and easy card and yet I thought it was so elegant I absolutely did and even my husband and Paul who um, I call my stepbrother that lives with us um, they both thought it was absolutely really lovely and they're not very complimentary half the time okay so that's that layer on there so now we're going to bring in our, our top layer that has the semi-circle cut out of it and we're going to put down a piece of scrap pop that down Oops, turn that over like so and I'm going to use my my blending brush now I've had my blending brushes for a while so I didn't see the point in going out and buying more blending brushes from stamping up when these get um, past their use by day I will buy them so I'm going to use the I'm using the gorgeous grape and I'm just going to go around the edges of this circle it just takes that stuck white off and I'm, I'm, sometimes I just find that with certain things it just doesn't look good and I did this card and I thought it just needed that little bit more around the edge so we have now got that around the edge of our card and as you can see when you move it away from the, the main part how much it has actually gone around the edge of the card so let's, oops, we don't want to close that one up for a moment. And let's bring in our high, um, Highland Heather. And we're going to stamp our Highland Heather with our um, leaf like this shape. So I'm going to stamp this all around the edges. Let me see how big that is. That sounds good. And I'm going to stamp this around the edges like so and then I'm going to pop that one out the way and close this one up oops and bring back in the gorgeous grape there we go and this one with the bobbles on it I don't know what you call that flower but oh leaf or whatever it is and I'm going to stamp those in between it's just a subtle amount of difference it's not a huge amount of difference but it's just enough that it looks just right or at least it does for me so while we've got our Highland Heather and our um, gorgeous grape open we might as well do these again so with our, our gorgeous grape on this large leaf one that I'm going to pop down the bottom here on our insert and let's pop that one out of the way and from our gorgeous grape we will pop our other flower down here there we go that's all our stamping on the front done um, on the insert let's bring in our piece of white strip while we've got it here and we might as well using the the gorgeous grape I'm going to stamp on here you can do this and that's all our stamping done then I'll pop that one out of the way until we're ready to use it okay Let's move our bit of scrap out of paper out of the way and bring back in our main card. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this one over and we're going to pop some dimensions onto the back. All the way around the edges.
I don't like mine to sag so I make, make sure I put plenty on and um, now we're going to pull the release off the back of these and place it over the top of the other card let's get rid of those few in my hand I can't grab them when I've got that many and then layering this on top so that we get a layer around the edges like so oh wow that does look really lovely in that colour so we're going to bring back in our other pieces now and we're going to I've bought, got here my triple flag end punch and I'm going to pop these into the flag end side here and I'm going to flag them but I'm not flagging that one let's move that out of the way I'll finish that so what we're going to do now is that we're going to layer these two together like so so that they are staggered a bit of glue along that edge there and I'm going to stagger that on top of that one like so it's up to you how much you want showing or how little let's move that down a tiny bit more and then we can pop this one onto the top of that one so we're going to pop that one onto the top of that one I might just trim that bit out. Oops, there goes the lid of my thing, of my scissors, so that it's closer to this end. And I will put that about there, like so. Once I'm happy with the, where I've placed that, I'm then going to look where this is going to go, and I'm going to then trim these all to the same length across the bottom the back side I'm going to pop a couple more dimensions onto the back of these just remember that some of it's going to be over the top here so we don't need to put dimensions there but we can pop a tiny bit of glue on that piece there let me take the end off the glue um, just here Let's take our releases off the, here, like so. And then pop this one into here. Now I'm lining it up, this edge, which is not very straight. Let me assure you. That looks better. Lining that up along this edge here with the edge of the Highland Heather piece of card. And just above the corner of the circle here it's a certain, sounds silly a corner on a circle but that's what I mean by it so that is the card front let's do the insert and then we will finish the, in, the outside off so we're going to glue our two layers together here For our insert, and pop that onto the inside of the card. We'll wait if I can open the card. Open, open sesame, and glue this one onto the inside of the card. Let's pop my, lip, my pin in my glue as I don't need it anymore for this project. At least I don't think I do. And that's our insert into the card like so. So let's bring to the, to the front. I have a bow that I've actually um, pre-made. I made it on my bow maker because I wanted it tiny. And I will cut them off afterwards. So let's get our glue dots and pop some glue dots onto the onto the back of this 
Ah, dearie me, where did I start? Here. There we go, and I'm just going to pop that down on that corner there. So now I'll trim these up because I think they're way, way too long. And my um, come on, <laughs> that looks better. My ribbon is um, the Highland Heather from the um, mini catalogue, which will finish on the third of. May as well, so and now I have some here. Now, these are retired, these are the peacock rhinestones, and they have them in the highland. This color is highland heather, so I'm going to be using those because I want to use them up. And I'm going to pop three along the top here. just to finish it off and how elegant does that card look that is gorgeous I love it in that color here's the original one in the um, Sahara sand this is early espresso and this piece is crumb cake I was stamped in early espresso here no I didn't I stamped in soft suede and these were um, champagne rhinestones. Oh, mental blank again. So that's my card for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you would like the written tutorial for this card please head over to Dyer's Den for stamping crafting and tutorials you will find the the link below for that and you, it's free to join there and i look forward to seeing you again next week bye for now